guys and welcome back to Minecraft Adventures. So off camera between the last episode and this episode, I did quite a few things. So first of all, as you may have already noticed, I filled up the roof of the enchantment room with quartz. Um, I started doing it in the previous episode, but it was going to take a while to get the rest of them. So I just decided to do it off camera so it wouldn't be too boring. So yeah, I did that, which is pretty great. And then I also made a few changes uh, out here. So first of all, I went into creative and I named my dogs with a name tag. So that's Lexi, and then here is Lucky. And also, something cool happened. So while I was naming them, I found out... Well, you may have seen the episode My Glitch Dog Lucky. That's basically the episode where um, I got Lucky and he was completely glitched. I couldn't stand him up, but now he's not glitched anymore. I can stand him up all I want. It's great. Oh, God, don't leave. But yeah, so we can stand him up now, which is pretty awesome. Um, I think those are all the changes I made, actually, so that's pretty good. What? What is that? It's like a plane. Huh. That's strange. What is that? Why is there, like, a hole in the bottom? Huh. I wonder what that is. Wait a minute, that looks like a, that looks like a bombing plane. I think it's gonna bomb my house. Oh my God, I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. Off camera, there's something I didn't mention. When I was gathering wood up in the forest over there, I met this chicken. He said his name was Mr. Cluckers. And he said he was like, he was just looking for resources uh, as well as I was. And he seemed really nice, but then all of a sudden he started getting really bossy and he started being really mean to me. So eventually I ran away, but he left a note at my door and it said that he would blow up my house if I didn't give him a million diamonds within a week. And it's been a week since then and I still haven't given them any diamonds. So I think this might be my punishment, but I think we can stop him. I'm just going to have to gather up the resources. I'll be right back. All right, it's been a while, but I finally got enough dirt to pile up there and I got some flint and steel, so hopefully I can blow up whatever room is carrying all of those bombs and he won't blow my house up in time. So I'm gonna build up there and try to kill him and blow up his plane. I think building off the top of my house would work best. Let's get up there, but I can't let him notice me. How long is this gonna take? How high is his plane? not too high. Let's build it this way a little. We have to do this very sneakily. Because if he notices us, he'll bomb the house right away. He's probably giving me an opportunity to reason with him and give him the diamonds, but I don't even have the diamonds for that. All right. Let's get up there. Well, I definitely overestimated the amount of dirt I would need, but here we go. Oh, this must be the bombing room. Now, where is he? Where is he? He must be in there. Oh, I hope he didn't see me. That was a close one. He's in there. I can see him. All right. We're going to have to blow up his bombs. Now hopefully I can just break in. Hmm. If I blow this plane up, I'm gonna die too. Maybe, maybe there's a way that I can make it so I can escape in time. All right, so down below, I made a trampoline made of slime. Hopefully, when I blow up the ship, I can jump off and land on the slime, and I can survive. But I only get one shot at this. If I mess up this jump, that means it's the end of Minecraft Adventures. Let's do it. I'll break the glass. I'm so nervous. In three, two, one. One. Go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. 